Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Gemini. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks so much for dropping in. Let's see what's happening. This reading is about transformations in love. What's changing and transforming for the Gemini viewers. Clear messages and guidance please for Gemini. What do they need to know? What does Gemini need to know about the transformations changes regarding their love life anything else i see i will bring up gemini gemini it's transforming and changing Ooh, there we go ah oh, ten of cups you got some emotional fulfillment coming your way gemini oh my goodness something is changing the wheel of fortune okay see things there's a cycle that's ending and a new cycle beginning beautiful you have some good luck coming there is something definitely changing oh beautiful all right gemini we have the knight of cups there is some kind of a communication coming towards you you may have several people coming towards you you're definitely going to be happy and i feel it's this knight of cups somebody is coming towards you with an uh, emotional communication this is somebody who's offering that cup of love they may want to take you out it could be a date things could very well go in your favor this is somebody who wants things to go in their favor they're looking for this emotional fulfillment and then you have this other person it could be the same person but to me it feels like two because i feel like you're striking it rich here with the wheel of fortune the knight of pentacles is somebody coming towards you very slowly Someone's looking at all the details, taking their time. So somebody who's very careful, very cautious. They like to get things just right. Yes, and you have the emperor. Ooh, yes, this is somebody who is the emperor. Look at that. This is someone who wants things to go in their favor. So I feel they're coming towards you uh, with this Wheel of Fortune energy. Uh, there, there could be a date. There is a big transformation coming. My goodness. This is someone who's used to getting things they want. Oh, yes. Well, they're used to things going in their favor. They're looking at the details, taking their time, being very meticulous. They want success. This person is going to. They're aiming for success. I'm going to tell you that. <laughs> Gemini, Gemini. I see Aries energy. Doesn't have to be. The Emperor can be anybody. What does Gemini need to know about transformation and changes? Clear messages, please. There we go. Ah, four of cups. Yeah, you're not so sure. You're not so sure about this person. There's something here. Not so sure about this transformation, <laughs> where this is going to go. This person, you know, the emperor is not always the most emotional person either. But I feel as though if this person wants things to go in their favor, they need to come in and take the lead. They really do. They need to like level up. They need to do everything just right. Because this is someone who may have come in with one foot in the door and one foot out. This may have been an on and off situation. So you're not so sure. Or maybe they're afraid if they don't do everything just right, they will become rejected. <laughs> okay. Yes, you may reject this person. That's what they're probably worried about. They're looking at this transformation and this rejection. They know they need to come in and be the emperor. They need to take the lead here. Look at that. Yeah, look at this energy. This person's not going to give up. This is somebody who doesn't give up. They know what they want. Yes, this person gets a lot of success. <laughs> they're used to getting a lot of attention. Yeah, look at me. We. <laughs> All right. Yeah. They get a lot of attention, and I feel it's because they're very successful. This is somebody that's generally self-made. They're used to getting what they want, but this has been an on and off situation. And while this person's coming back around, and they are worried about rejection, but they're not going to give up. This person's aiming for success. There is going to be, you're going to get the success out of this Nine of Cups. You're going to get something you want, but you're... And if they do come towards you, you may not be sure. You may be thinking you want to just give up on this person. Maybe they get too much attention or you feel like they're coming in just for attention and you're being careful what you wish for. But I don't know. This is, I see the Hierophant here. Yeah, be careful what you believe with this person. It's telling you to keep the faith, that maybe you don't have a lot of faith in this person. Okay. But I feel like you are keeping the faith. If you have Taurus in your chart, you're definitely in that energy. 
if this person has Taurus in their chart, they might be a little bit stubborn. And maybe a little bit stuck or they're not sure what to do because they this is someone who's used to getting what they want and all of a sudden you're not it's like you're not acting like everyone else here it's like you're <laughs> they have to come towards you and this is someone who's used to people coming towards them and giving them attention so <laughs> they're a little bit worried i feel like this person's out of their element we have the ten of cups I'm going to grab this deck first. Tell me about this Ten of Cups. You're going to get something you want. It's telling you to keep the faith. Okay, tell me about the Ten of Cups. Why is the Ten of Cups here? Ah, yes. There is a new beginning coming. Somebody is coming to express themselves, to start something new. Lovely. The sun is shining. And you're going to be very happy about this. Things are going in your favor, Gemini. Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. You may win some money, actually, with the Wheel of Fortune sitting right here with this energy. But it looks more like there's somebody, there's a cycle that's ending. And uh, you're definitely feeling happier. Um, a lot, very much happier, I can see that. There's some kind of emotional fulfillment. And I feel like this Wheel of Fortune is this person as well. It's in the middle, so it's both of you. Tell me about the wheel. Why is the wheel here? Ah, yeah. So this has been an on and off relationship with you and this person for some of you where someone's weighing the pros and the cons about coming in. They know they need to come in in a balanced manner because they're looking at this. They need to express themselves. They need to make themselves clear. Everything needs to be exposed, all the notions. <laughs> So they're coming in with the Knight of Cups. They may offer to take you out. Yeah, so this person is coming in stable and reliable. And I feel like in the past you didn't have a lot of faith with this person. Maybe you thought this person was juggling, things were on and off. Something felt off balance. But I feel they're making this decision about how to get things going in their favor. They're sort of tossing ideas back and forth in their head. They, the only way to make this stable is to be reliable, to make you feel safe and secure. They need to offer you a cup of love. Yes, they do. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. They're working through the details. They're coming your way. This is action. It's just slow moving. Tell me about the Knight of Pentacles. Why is this here? Ah, yeah. So you have a lack of clarity right now, Gemini. You're, you're not clear about where this is going, what's going on. You're not so sure. You might be getting bored. I'm waiting for this change, waiting for this person to transform and come back around. But there is a lack of clarity. And I see you've kind of got your back turned and your sword down. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Why is this emperor here? Why is this here? Oh, this person. Yeah, they know they need to get things in their favor. They need to offer up that cup of love. This is somebody who is very much in control of their emotions, I'll tell you that. <laughs> the Emperor is not always the most emotional person, but if this person wants to win and they want to succeed and they want success with you, they need to share their feelings. They need to face you because I feel this person's never told you how they felt. And I feel they are headed in your direction very slowly. They want to take things slow. You may need to take things slow. You may not want to hear this if this person says they... You know, it's going to take some time for them to express themselves because, the, you know, the emperor is not the most emotional person. They're just not. This person's definitely, uh, they're used to people giving them attention, not giving it. <laughs> four of Cups. Why is the Four of Cups here? Yeah, see? Yeah, this person wants success. They have a huge ego. Oh, yeah. If this person comes towards you just looking for attention, they're going to be rejected. They need to come in and give you the attention you deserve. <laughs> and that's, oh, yes, that ego is there. I do feel this will move forward successfully. You're just not sure about it yet. I do feel this person could even be a little bit emotionally blocked at some point. They're worried about rejection. Like I said, they're terrified of it. And I, you're bored of waiting, but I feel they're terrified. They're used to having success no matter what. Getting what they want because they're the emperor. Mm-hmm. Nine of wands. Ah, yes, the decision. Yeah, so you're sitting here. See some Libra energy. Somebody's got some Libra in their chart here, Gemini. This person may be making a decision. They're not giving up. They're coming towards you. They want this reconciliation. All right, I love it. Yes, they want success. 
This person needs to set themselves free from something here. They need to put an end to something. And I feel they, they're making this decision about how to get things going. They want to be with you. They want things to go in their favor. This is someone who's used to being indulged. Some, everybody indulging them, making them happy, expressing themselves. Uh, it's a little different than you, with you. Tell me about the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here? Oops, there we go. Ah, yeah, see, this person's trapped in that energy. So if this person comes back looking for attention from you and they repeat mistakes they made in the past, they best be careful what they wish for. I see this. If you've got Taurus in your chart, like look at this energy. I see laughing here. I can't get over that face, but yeah. I'm not so sure you have faith in this person that they... If they don't come, if they come back around, they'll do things right. But they are trapped in that energy, trapped in their ego. And I do think this person knows if they come towards you, they need to let go of that. Because they can't repeat that again, or they won't get what they want. They can't come back with the same beliefs, traditions, and behaviors as they did before. Okay? Oh, no. But they're in the middle, right smack dab in the middle of this reading. Yeah, so you're not so sure... You're being careful what you wish for if you have a lot of faith. You're holding on to this. This is your person, though. You know it. You know how you feel about them. But you're looking back. This person's been a lot of work. And I'll tell you, you are being careful. Not so sure you're going to get what you want. But I think you are. This person is not going to give up no matter what. They're going to keep coming back around, <laughs> giving you attention, <laughs> seeking attention from you. Oh, my. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, see, yeah, you don't have a lot of faith in this person that they're going to reach out properly because I feel like they haven't been reciprocating. Maybe you haven't been talking. There's a lack. This tra this things just haven't really transformed. I see that the Six of Wands, the success card, the ego card. This person's a little full of themselves, to be honest. I don't feel like they're a bad person at all. I just think they're used to getting attention. They're used to people giving, coming to them, showering the abundance upon them. And they're not used to having to, to give. Tell me about the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see? Look at that. Yeah, this is your person. You, you know, they... If you have Taurus in your chart, this is your person, and you have very traditional beliefs here and traditional behaviors. You want a traditional kind of relationship. So I feel like, and I feel like you both actually are quite traditional. They're just in their own habits. You have your own habits, your own way of doing things, and they have theirs. So I feel like you're both being a little bit stubborn. Uh, there's a lack of reciprocity right now. You're not on the same page at this point. Tell me about the Ace of Staves. Why is this here with the Ace of Staves? Ah, oh, yes, yes. This is your person. They feel the same way about you as you do about them. Neither one of you are giving up on each other, but neither one of you have a lot of faith. You're both being stubborn, and that's what I see. You're not reaching out. They're not going to give up, though. I don't think you're going to give up either. I, I think you're holding out. You think about it at times. You look back at how much work this has been, how long you've been sitting here waiting for this person. They don't want you to give up, though, I can tell you that. No, there is something that needs to be peeled. You're on a break. I actually feel some of you are on a bit of a break. You're clearing your head, taking a little bit of rest, healing and releasing negative thoughts, negative energy, negative patterns. Yeah, see, this is the thing. This You will release this person if they come back and act, act like they did before, coming in for attention. All right? I see it. Tell me about the King of Cups. Oh, but they have love for you. They know what they need to do. Yeah, they're coming back around. This person's gone through a lot of changes. They have transformed. I actually feel they have. They're setting themselves free of something, something that's been keeping them stuck. But I think they're afraid you won't reciprocate, that you will uh, reject them. Tell me about the Six of Staves, Six of Wands energy. Why is this here for Gemini? Yeah, sitting on the fence waiting. This is your person. You're waiting for them to come towards you. They have to set themselves free from something here. 
They need to release something there to come towards you. There is something that's evolving. This is your person. They're trying to figure out how to approach you. Yeah, they hold you in very high regard, vice versa. Yeah, look at that. They need to re they need to let go of something, and that's their ego. And I feel like that's what it is. They need to leave the ego behind and come towards you. You do hold them in high regard, but they this person's a little full of themselves, and the situation's a little out of reach if they don't release that, uh, the attitude, basically. But, you know, this is somebody who's definitely... Uh, person's a star you see them as a star and i feel like this is your hopes and dreams that they will come towards you and they'll release this ego and they'll choose the right path tell me about the star and some aquarius energy here there we go oh yeah so there you are you're sitting here looking at this you're just waiting very patiently you're being practical trying to keep yourself very grounded I think this person does see you as a star. They see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as practical, grounded, reliable, very stable. You take care of yourself, your money, your home, your finances. You've got it all going on. They do feel they could have stability with you. And they do know they need to make you feel safe and secure, though. They need to show you that they can be reliable. Because I feel this person, this has been something, um, maybe it ended, something was out of balance. Things ended between you because this person didn't make you feel stable. Something was off or out of balance here. Sorry, I had to stop and pause for a massive sneeze. <laughs> it's all good. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about this. Why is this here? There we are. Yeah, see? Yeah, I feel like this person's going to take you out on a date to show you that they're reliable, they're stable. This is going to be a good date. I think they're going to spend a little bit of money. You may meet them somewhere. You may meet somewhere out in the public, in the community. You may have traveled in the same social circles in the past, I feel. I feel this person's going to take you out. I do. They're going to show you that they're reliable, that they're stable. They're going to make you feel safe and secure. They may introduce you to some of their friends. Look at that. Yeah, they may have a party at their house. They may invite you to. I see that here. Oh, yes. So you may be getting an invitation. They want to make things stable. This, I feel like this person's looking at commitment with you. Uh, there's some kind of an event. They're going to make a big deal here about something. They know what they need to do. They're going to pour it on big time. They're going to hold you in high regard. You're going to feel pretty comfortable with this person. But unless if this person has that ego, that attitude, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like they've gone through a lot of changes, though. Trust your intuition. I think you know everything you need to know about this person. I feel like your intuition will tell you. Like you're going to be, this is where you trust your body, how you feel. That's part of your intuition if you feel comfortable with them. And I do feel this person is going to try to make you feel comfortable, maybe in their home, uh, maybe by introducing it to their friends, their family. Maybe they're going to take you out. They may be having a party. I feel like there's some kind of an event that they're putting together. They're paying for everything. They're taking care of it. And they're going to reach out and talk to you about it. Look at this energy. Yeah, you're waiting for this. You're holding on. This is your person. But I feel as if they come towards you. Oh, this person wants you. They see a future with you. You're not so sure. I think you're going to wait and just see how things go. Oh, Gemini, Gemini. Yes, you're, yeah, see, you're not sacrificing anything for this person. And I feel as though... This person may have sabotaged things in the past by coming in with a bit of an ego or taking too slow. And I feel like you're getting bored of waiting for them, but I'm telling you, they're common, <laughs> okay, eventually. I, I mean, that Knight of Pentacles, uh, that it, it seriously can take a few years. I'm not kidding. And uh, it's like the slowest moving energy ever. But I feel... In this energy here, it's not going to take two years. And I feel like some time's already gone by for a lot of you. This is just somebody who moves slow. They like to do everything just right. And I feel they are planning something. And I feel they're going to come in and take the lead. They're going to show you that they change by offering that cup of love. 
Yeah, they look at that. Yeah, see, you're not so sure. See, here they come around, and now you've changed your mind. You're not so sure. You might decide to stay single and walk away from this person. See, because you walked away from them before. And I feel like you're getting tired of waiting. Like I said, it looks like you're getting bored, Gemini. They need to, I think they need to leave something behind too. They may be walking away from the single life. Seriously, because I see commitment, someone stable. I see an event. This could be an engagement, some kind of party, something they're inviting you to. They're coming in to make this offer. And I feel it'll take a little time for this person to work through the process and the details before they tell you how they feel. This person's a leader. They're an emperor. They may be leaving the single life behind and coming towards you, but I feel like there's a lack of clarity. There's something here that you're not sure about, that there's something you're not hearing or you're not clear about. Uh, it's like you're turning your back. You're not getting the clarity, the truth. Maybe you're not sure how you feel now by the time this person comes around because you're feeling like you should just stay single and walk away. And, or maybe walk away and go find somebody else, that two of cups energy. But I'm going to be honest, I feel they're leaving their single life behind. I do. I do. I can see it. And there's that. This is a nine of cups. That's your wish granted. Tell me about judgment. This is a big decision. They're not going to give up on you. Yeah, see, you don't know what to do. So you're feeling very stuck. This person's just not sure how to approach you. They are, they, even though they're an emperor, they have their own insecurities because they honestly feel like you're out of their league. And I don't why. Maybe you feel like they're out of your league. I don't know. But I don't think so. I think this person's a little full of themselves. <laughs> they're just used to getting what they want. And I feel like, the, you know, they're hiding behind this emperor attitude. And yeah, not so sure if you want to accept their offer. There it is. There's that offer. You're not so sure. They're afraid you're going to reject it. But you're looking at it, Gemini, very carefully. You're looking at this to make sure they don't have this attitude, this ego, or they're coming towards you for attention because you're not repeating this again. I can see it. You want to make sure that they don't come in with that same energy. See, while they're, they're working up the courage to come and express themselves, you're going through something. You've also gone through some kind of a change. And I feel you're just sitting back looking out for yourself, taking care of you, holding yourself in high regard. You are purging, releasing something. I do see you being a lot happier. I do feel like there's a new cycle beginning where you're going to be happier regardless of these events that, that play out. This is a lot of stuff going on in your head as well. So tell me about this Eight of Swords. Tell me about the Eight of Swords. This person may be trapped in something they're having a hard time getting away from. Um, and it could be just that ego or they have people coming around them just for attention. So it may not be there. It could be people coming towards them. So yeah, see, this person's... If they offer one cup and nothing more, and they keep everything to themselves, I don't feel like you'll invest. But you've been waiting patiently for this nine of cups. Because here it is up here. You're sitting here waiting, looking. All right, come on already. You've made the offer. Now let's get things moving. Yeah, they are coming. See, this is you. You're learning. And I feel like this person's coming towards you. They see you as this empress energy. I also feel you're very much invested in yourself. You're holding yourself in the highest regard. This person knows what they need to do. This is We, we have the Hierophant here, the Six of Wands. Uh, we have success. This person's coming towards you. They've learned something here, and they're bringing this energy uh, with them. They want to get to know you more. They want to get closer to you. Whew. You're thinking that you should move away to hold, to avoid a disaster. That maybe you shouldn't invest in this person. But I'm going to tell you, you manifested them. <laughs> so now this is what it's telling you. Make sure you know exactly what you want because they're coming. So take the time to think. Do you, You're manifesting this person. Do you want them? Because I feel like you're changing your mind and you're not so sure now that they're coming, finally coming around expressing themselves that you may not want them because you have manifested them. But if they come in with an ego or they come in just looking for attention, you're not so sure. 
Tell me about this Four of Swords. Why is this here? So you're holding back and thinking, I feel. I feel like you lay in bed at night thinking whether you should, you know, give up on this person and just let this go. But I'm going to tell you, the more you lay there and think, <laughs> the harder they're fighting to come towards you because they, the Emperor does not give up. The Emperor is out to win, period. They know that to win, they need to offer that love. They need to tell you how they feel. They need to express themselves and lay all those cups out on the table. They're just afraid you'll reject them. And maybe you're thinking that you'll reject them. Yeah, see, there's a transformation. This is If this person tells you they come in and they release this pattern, whatever it is, uh, this energy they're stuck in with this ego, uh, and they let go of this energy and they heal it, clear it out, clear their head, come in and put all the cups on the table. That's what's going to transform. They could change your mind. So, <laughs> yeah, there is... <laughs> Definitely, they are going to put an end to this situation. I, I feel like they're, it's their ego that's getting on your case right now. It's like you just don't want them coming in looking, you know, for attention because they're used to getting what they want. And you're, I feel as though you're a little bit different here. Yeah, you're going to be on the same page. You're going to come in. You're going to see a change. They're going to cooperate and compromise. You're afraid they're going to act exactly like they did before. If you just hold yourself in high regard, you don't have to give this person anything. Okay, I feel like they want to be more generous. They're, they, this person's changing the way they conduct themselves in relationships. They're going to be more generous. But I feel like you're changing how you conduct yourself as well. But look at that. You both see each other as the one. This is your soulmate. And I feel like they're just keeping you waiting for so long that you go through these periods where maybe you're frustrated or you're just getting bored, you're tired of waiting, and you're thinking it's time to just move on. But you're looking at this. You look back at the past. You're looking here. You're sitting here. You know everything you need to know. And this is why you're holding on to this person because you know all the good things too. You know it. This is your one. This is your person. Wow. They will reach out eventually. They will sort of test you a little bit. You might be a little worried that things are going to turn out like they did before. You may not have a lot of faith in this. But I feel like if you just give it a little bit of time, be a little bit patient, I think you might be surprised. Yeah, there's love here. This There's love between the two of you. You love each other. There's a mental, physical there's a mental and emotional connection, absolutely. And then there's that physical connection, you see. You have different beliefs and traditions, the way you conduct yourself when it comes to that physical connection. That's where you two need to get on the same page. And you need to talk back and forth. You need to reciprocate and share your beliefs and traditions and how you conduct yourselves. And that's that will help you get on that same page, on the same path, where you build each other up, not tear each other down, okay? lovely energy so let's see what's going on i feel like this person's biggest issue is the ego coming in for attention it's like you don't want that you want them to come all the way and express themselves you want this new beginning maybe when they first communicate with you it'll appear that way it's telling you to be patient and just wait and see oh you've manifested this person <laughs> You're manifesting them, so you better decide when they offer you that pentacle if you want it or not, because I feel like there's going to be something kind of lacking. There's something here that you're not hearing that you were expecting to hear, and you may feel like holding yourself in high regard and just walking away. They're coming towards you. They're learning something here. This person's moving. They may be traveling. They could be at a bit of a distance from you. But look at that. Moving forward calmly and peacefully to put an end to a painful situation. This person may need to release somebody. They may be moving away from something. Uh, they're going through some kind of healing, some sort of an ending. Um, wow. You know, maybe that's what happened in the past. This person may have walked away from you. Maybe they just blew you off at some point because you wouldn't give them the attention they wanted because they're used to getting it. Maybe you're looking at all this. This could be past energy. So if they come back around, and I do see them coming because you're manifesting it, and you're a little bit concerned about the, it playing out the same again, things playing out the same with the Hierophant. 
Mm -hmm. If this person acts the way they did before. So yeah, there you are, the Queen of Pentacles. You're being practical and realistic. You're looking out for you. You're looking into the future. You see this person in your future. <laughs> this is the person that you were, you know, you planned for this. You know, you've manifested it. So it's telling you to be patient. Just concentrate on you, your money, looking out for yourself. Okay, because I do feel, yeah, you're holding on to this person. It's telling you to hold on to your money, too. There may be something changing here where you need to hold on to your money. You might be a little stubborn. If you, I feel like you both could have Taurus in your chart. One of you definitely has strong Taurus. Yes, hold yourself in high regard. This person sees you as a star. You see them. I don't think you're letting go of this person. I don't care what you tell yourself. <laughs> you're not going to give up on this person. You're holding on. And they will come in. I just hope they don't act. It doesn't look like they're going to uh, breadcrumb you. Or I don't think there's going to be a lack of reciprocity. In fact, you both need to reciprocate your traditions, your beliefs. The way you you know talk about how you see things. How things need to be. Your beliefs and your behaviors. Right. This is how you conduct yourself in your relationship. In the way you, you know, traditionally. You're both commitment people. You're, you're, and the thing is, is you're just not on the same page. You just need to get on the same page, and it has to do with communication. There's love here. There's emotion. It's a very beautiful physical connection I see at the end of this. So there's going to be a lot of passion. I can see that happening. Yeah, you're not giving up. This person is your star. This is your person. And I don't think they're going to give up on you either. But I do feel they're releasing something. They're moving away from somebody or something here before they can come and have this new beginning with you. There's a cycle that's ending that they need to end before they begin it. What is the cycle they need to end? What does this person need to end before they come towards? Page of Water. They need to end something with somebody who is this page of water, someone who tells stories, somebody younger than them, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah, so they may tell you about this, but they need to end a situation with this page of water, somebody who's younger, somebody who's wishy-washy. Yeah, somebody who's sneaky. Uh, so they figured this person out. They have figured this person out, that somebody is... Yeah, they're trying to figure out how to walk away from this person. They want to win... No matter what happens, yeah, they're ready for a new beginning. They're ready to take that leap of faith and have a new beginning with you. It's going to be a risk. This person is going to have to take some kind of a risk here. Uh, somebody here is wishy-washy. They've figured them out. Somebody's a little bit of a player. Somebody tells stories, fish tales. Mm -hmm. Wishy-washy. Someone's not very truthful. Yeah, so there is success here. They will walk away from this person. They're seeing the truth and having an epiphany. So, yeah, you're going to get success because this person's leaving someone else behind. They're coming towards you. So be patient. I know you got a lot going on in your head. I can tell. I can see it. But you're manifesting this. Even though you don't want to admit it, you're still manifesting this person. And uh, you're definitely ready to move towards this person. They are traveling. They will come towards you. And I do feel this person is coming in very calmly and peacefully. I feel like they, they've learned a lot from what they've been through, and so have you. So just continue holding yourself in high regard with everything that you've learned, because that's what's going to manifest this. All right, take care. I wish you guys the best. It's telling you not to give up. This person's, I, I don't think you want to give up, even though you think about it at times, because I feel like you're bored of waiting. But I don't think you will. But it's up to you. You can decide you have free will. They will not give up on you once this person comes towards you. So take care. Wish you the best. Bye for now.